Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming for this uh, session. Uh, uh, I'd like to, in this section, section uh, I would like to introduce our proposing uh, photonic disaggregated computer concepts. First of all, uh, let me introduce myself. I am uh, Shigeru Kotabe. Uh, uh, originally, I, I was a network engineer developing the L2 switch or L3 router. And uh, eight years ago, uh, I uh, take, took, part, took part in the AI development team. And now I am a researcher of AI infrastructure. And now, uh, I am going to introduce our proposing photonic disaggregated computer concepts. Actually, we, Fujitsu, uh, took part in the technical forum uh, called ION, which is going to develop technologies for the requirement in 2030 era. Uh, and we are developing the POC with NTT, uh, which is the network carrier in Japan um, uh, to realize our own concept. And we are, uh, in there, uh, we have, we have the discussion about the requirement of network and computing platform in 2030. There are three key requirements we concluded. Uh, first, type of data and its volume. Various type of data are emerging and sometimes they are huge. And so an infrastructure such as a network and a computer should take care of them efficiently. Second, SDG things. Infrastructure should take care of the environmental issues such as power consumption reduction, carbon neutralization, or such. And third, the use cases in 2030. Uh, the use cases requires various performance factor, uh, such as uh, very low latency or very high, high bandwidth. So the infrastructures of computer and network should take care of them. Um, for those requirements, we are proposing the photonic disaggregated computing concept with three features here. Uh, first, uh, flexible allocation of devices. Uh, if the GPU is idle, uh, uh, we sh the node should be uh, remove the GPUs from the system, and if the GPU is at the very high load, the new one, the new GPU should be added. The second, uh, device to device con communication, uh, connection with, with our GPU. Uh, this is uh, just like a DMA or RDMA. Uh, when the data is very huge, the data copy is very, it, it, could, it took very, high CPU load. So to reduce them, the direct copy is needed. Third, the photonic connections. Uh, we are con connecting devices by copper now, but to satisfy network uh, requirement, uh, uh, they should be connected by photonics. And if they connect from end to end, we call it APN, or photonics ne network. Uh, that should satisfy the requirement of new era. Uh, this is a basic architecture of uh, our developing uh, CDI, composable disaggregated infrastructure and optical switch. The CDI consists of the resource pool and the PCIe fabric switch and to manage and management software. 
And also, we need an uh, orchestrator and uh, software to allocate resources. And optical switch, oh, in the future, uh, the device is connected each other by photonics, but uh, this is, uh, we are still discussing for this. Uh, use cases. Uh, with this concept, I believe a lot of issues for various industrial markets can be solved. But especially, we focused on the use case with two factors. One is AI image processing with large dynamic range in data volume, such as security camera or smart building. And the other is real-time processing, such as remote control in smart, small smart factory or something. They are requiring, requiring uh, real time, low latency, high computing power. Uh, this is a mm, concrete example of our concept. Um, uh, we are uh, developing the POC partially. And uh, so if the data is gathering the gathering from the camera or sensors, and it, it, they will be transferred to the data center via a photonic network. And uh, in the data center, the data will be uh, copied with DMA and processing device by device. Also, flexible allocation uh, will be reduce the power consumption so this is the, so our concept will uh, realize much better. So as a conclusion, uh, I talk about the concept of photonic disaggregated computer concepts. And uh, for the, our POC, uh, for more details, uh, see another section by my colleague uh, this afternoon. And so, as you know, the, we have a bunch of issues to solve. So we are looking for the collaborators. So if you're interested in this concept, uh, please visit the Fujitsu booth and uh, have a further discussion. And thank you. Uh, this is all for this session. Thank you for listening. So, uh, any question about this? Yeah, please. Ah, yeah, this page. So in number three, photonic connection, I'm not sure how uh, we could achieve the uh, photonics fabrics without EO or OE cost. So do you have, uh, if possible, so can you please provide some example? Example? Yeah, uh, for example, so uh, if we use a uh, conventional uh, photonic switch such as low dam or classical uh, some static stuff so we cannot achieve this photonic fabrics mm -hmm. I guess mm -hmm. uh, yeah uh, the photonic switch is, is still very large and uh, in, in this part uh, we, are con we are thinking about the, in the lack or something so Connecting each other is uh, still very hard, but uh, uh, if this is a bit smaller, uh, we, we can use, we can, we can utilize this, that for this concept, I think. Uh, sorry, I don't get you, but uh, 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 yeah, I'm expecting so something like uh, more fancy stuff like uh, 
wide area optical circuit switching or optical packet or optical burst or something like that. But uh, oh, yeah. why 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 we are uh, okay. So uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, actually uh, I am not an uh, expert for this part, so uh, let's talk about it uh, later in the, our booth. Thank you. So, so from this graph, so my understanding is like uh, your fabric will be disconnect all the pieces currently it's in the one box at the the basically the bus, right? So you have the memory, so you want to disaggregate the CPU, memory, GPU, so all the component. So is that what you want? So the green box is just a logical, like I say, computer, it's not really the physical one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, currently we are using the electric uh, PCA switch, and uh, in the future, uh, we, we would like to use the uh, photonic fabric. Okay, so you mean like today your uh, the boundary of your photonic like a fabric is uh, from the neck is the one, so the, the the middle the red line today is not there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then do you have any like say the benefit to see uh, from the so what the benefit or you want to achieve? Compare, say, for example, like say, compare this one to the CXL or other disag uh, technology. Uh, the CXL is our uh, big option, and uh, we are consider considering the use it in in the future, in the near future. You mean that you consider it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the CXL, you still you treat that also as a kind of a photonic. No, yeah, it, it will be a uh, photonic network, I think. So the, so far, uh, this is a concept. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you for hearing. Uh, listening for this session. Thank you.